All right, so right off the bat, this is gonna be a pretty short video. In previous videos, I mentioned that I was a big fan of the micro SD card slot on the Steam Deck because it basically lets you expand your storage pretty much infinitely. However, when I first got my Steam Deck, I had a 128 gig card laying around, popped in, and I was like, okay, this will be fine. I mean, how much space do I really need? And true to form, I chewed through all that space in about three days. So I decided I would go ahead and upgrade and order a one terabyte card. It would give me tons of space to play around with while I was making videos with lots of storage for both you know, emulated ROMs and also for just Steam games proper. The problem was I didn't want to re-download a bunch of games onto this card and I didn't really want to redo all of the ROMs and the folder structure that I'd done previously to get everything working. So I really wanted to make sure I could just migrate my data from the 128 gig card to this new one terabyte card. And I was hoping that it would be a seamless process and it was a pretty seamless process, just not an overly obvious one. So hopefully this will make it easier so that if you are planning to upgrade your own micro SD card that you're using with your Steam Deck and you just want to migrate your data from point A to point B, this will give you the steps to do that. For starters, I powered down and removed the original 128 gig SD card and popped in the one terabyte SD card. Then I formatted it like I normally would, but because the Steam Deck only has the one SD card slot, I had to find a way to hook up another SD card to it. Thankfully, like I mentioned in the Steam Deck accessories video, I did pick up that Anker USB-C dock and that had a micro SD card reader on it. So then I hooked up the USB-C dock to the Steam Deck and I popped the old 128 gig card into the USB-C dock's micro SD card slot. At this point, you can hold the power button on the Steam Deck and tell it to go into desktop mode. At this point, if you go into the lower right corner of the screen in desktop mode, kind of where the system tray is in Windows machines, you'll see that it actually pops up the disks and devices and you will see it listed as primary and then you just have to click on the mount and open button. So at this point, I was able to open both of the SD cards the same way I would on any other PC where you'd have two SD cards plugged in, and then I just copied the files from their respective folders over into the same folder structure on the new card. And that's pretty much it. Initially, I was worried that there might have been some special action taken on the files that exist on the old card that would prevent them from being just read and launched from the new card, but no, that wasn't the case. Basically, everything that I had worked completely fine after I just made the copy. All the Steam games that I had installed on the card worked just fine after being copied to the new card, and the same was true of all the ROMs that I'd used with all the different emulators that I'd installed on the Steam Deck previously using EmuDeck. So yeah, just to recap, essentially, it's a really straightforward process. You just format the new card that you're going to use, hook up a USB-C dock that has a micro SD slot on it, plug your original card into that slot, mount it within the desktop, and then finally copy your files over to the new card where you want them to live. At that point, you can go ahead and unmount the original card to be used for something else, and then just go ahead and launch your apps and everything should be running just fine. So yeah, if you're like me, and initially when you got your Steam Deck, you just had a card laying around that you use and then realized very quickly, also like me, like, oh man, I'm about to run out of space super fast on this thing. Yes, it is a fairly straightforward process to get your data copied over from point A to point B. You just need a USB-C dock that's got a micro SD card reader on it so that you can basically open up both cards at once and copy your files from the old card to the new card. Now, I tried to make this as straightforward as possible. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you've run into the scenario yourself and have an even better method for doing it, please also let me know below so I can pin that comment to the benefit of everybody who checks out this video. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, if you need anything, just let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.